Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Saints Dream. And we have a wonderful game day on display for you today. It's going to be a triple threat. It's going to be ECAC, TFT, ECAC, Grand Finals for Omega Strikers. And then we also have a NACE League of Legends coming at you today. Once again, I'm Matthias, also known as Mothize, here hosting this one up here with Gabe. How you doing? I'm going uh, pretty, pretty well, but uh, I'm really excited for the league game because we have, I think, like an hour of undisturbed League of Legends. <laughs> so one start. game. So about maybe. maybe a game. that I mean, depends how much the Saints dominate. Uh, I, I am expecting very good things. I'm expecting lots of macro coming out uh, from the Saints because they might not be able to just completely plow the early game and go on to late game because this is a really high stakes game, right? Whoever wins this heads to the finals in Orlando, Florida. Orlando. Yes. Disneyland. I, I'm not familiar with the American States. That's fair. That's Geography. Fair. We're Canadian, not my best but subject. hey, we like to send them over there to compete with the best of the best. But before we get totally into League of Legends, let's take a quick look at what else we have happening here today, or just a quick review. First, we have Omega Strikers here happening today, mm -hmm. and that one's amazing. That's going to be the ECAC Grand Finals, and the Saints have not lost a single single map they haven't lost a single game but even further than that they've not even lost a single map they've gone flawless here in the ecac they're going to be going up against fanshawe fuel who has one loss on their record so the saints are looking to stand undefeated throughout this entire league so uh between you and me not to cast a curse but i'm going to cast a curse saints are going to win this one I would have to guess, but the real question is, is are they going to take their first loss? Is Fanshawe Fuel going to give up enough of a fight mm. that the Saints will meet I don't think so. Maker? No? No, nope. right. I don't think so. I'm confident in the Saints. I'm confident as well. I know Bailable, he's a coach. He puts in so much work along with his teammates. They are grinding that game like there's no tomorrow. But then we also have ECACTFT. We have, I think, three players up there in the I grand so, finals, yes. which is crazy. Yeah, no, uh, so we're going to have Kira. Kira's the only one. Our, uh, is we have Kira. Pitsy at the Pitsy, top. Yes. Dominates every game I've ever seen him in. And then we have Tommy and Naku Taiken not too far behind in seventh place. So we actually have two Saints up there. But the ones to look out for right behind Pitsy are going to be Robe, Clenby, and there's a few others between Naku Taiken and the rest. But oh, there's Kira. There's Kira there at the bottom. But yeah. unfortunately, Kira did not make it into playoffs, did not earn enough points. But the ones at the top are going to be the ones here we're going to be seeing today. But, yeah. na but now, moving on from that, yes. adjacent to TFT, you know, the main launcher you have to load up to yeah. get to that is going to be League of Legends. And that is your wheelhouse. How are you Actually, feeling? I, I like the fact that for some reason, they, they have a launcher for TFT on your phone, <laughs> but they don't have it four on the computer which is complete whack like it just is. make a tft launcher I, I never understood that anyways back to actual league <laughs> uh so patch notes came out last week they did uh they nerfed quite a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and buffed not much um so it's gonna be kind of interesting rex I top got absolutely gutted that's uh, fair. <laughs> which was being, I don't know if you saw it broke. I played but, it. I played it. Uh, yeah, that healing was a little bit insane. Granted, the damage was, la player. was lackluster, but it, I mean, Sunfire and then Spirit Visage. I'm sorry, but like, uh, what is that build? No, that that's illegal. Um, but yeah, so that one got a heavy nerf, so we definitely won't be seeing it uh, anytime soon. Although, granted, we didn't see it at all in the collegiate sectors, so we won't have to worry about that too much. Fiora took a uh, very heavy nerf. Believe it or not, she lost a grand total of 280. That is amazing. And as you can say, see a quick look at the buffs and nerfs, but the draft is ready. So let's Ooh, get the draft right is ready. into let's go. that. All right. Let's see what's going to be happening against Harrisburg University of Science and Technology. I wonder if they'll pick the more... Hextech champs because of that. <laughs> Nonetheless, let's take a look at these bands. Yeah, all right. So starting the Saints off with a Rumble Jace Virus. Um, very standard uh, bands here. Jace being kind of flexible and really good both early and late game. 
Fire is really meta right now, going that lethality build, and he can go on hit if they really need that extra damage boost. And the Rumble just being a really staple champion that can be flexed easily, and just a lot of damage with that equalizer. On the side of Heronsburg, they ban the Nico, the Twisted Fate, and the Olaf. We know Ricky's Olaf is terrifying, so it makes complete sense that they would ban that one out. And the Twisted Fate and the Nico. Uh, nobody wants to get pop blossomed. Nobody wants to get jump scared by a pop blossom. And nobody wants to get jump scared by TFTP. That is the summary. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Those are some good bands on the side of Harrisburg. A lot of favorites on the side of the Saints. But hey, Bakery Boy going to be picking Ari first on the side of the Saints. Good pick. Typical pick. A lot of movement. A lot of mobility. But an answer, Harrisburg. Yep. Instant counter pick to Leah. Now, I, I like the fact that the Saints here are starting off are they're opening the draft with their mid laner because what that enables is once you have your mid laner picked you're essentially um telling the opponent you have to counter pick me mm -hmm. right which means that one of their picks has to be dedicated to that Talia here since it's Ooh, the Ari and then the, the Jax. Jax going in so here you've got a mage that's a relatively meta and then a Jax that can be flexed both top and jungle right um don't play jack support please please <laughs> don't play jack support um so now here the saints have two options either b uh bleh, i should start with a before b yep. <laughs> either a they pick their jungle which is what they do here they lock in the volley bear and then they lock in their uh their jinx now perk with buying uh, getting a jinx is we already saw the virus being banned out so they can go for those scaling champions and not have to worry too much about getting their early game punished too hard the aphelios is going to be picked to match that jinx now the aphelios against jinx lane i don't know if you've seen that one before i have um, many times <laughs> see i i've never seen a jinx versus aphelios lane because i always tend to fall asleep before i can see it happen <laughs> it because it's a snooze fest because they're just farming um until Aphelios presses R, and for some reason, everybody explodes. <laughs> 400 years, ladies and gentlemen. And we see a Braum ban on the side of a Harrisburg, and then looks hovering a Nautilus ban on the side of the Saints. Makes sense. Trying to ban out these supports here as those the last two to pick on these sides. Also, we have the top laner on the side of the Saints, and I believe the jungler on the side of Harrisburg, unless this is Jack's jungle. Well, it, it, it's... It could be both. Volibear did get nerfed this patch, which is surprising that the Saints pick it up. But he does have good agency in that early game with that Sundered Sky. Um, so we're going to see how that one plays out. I, uh, honestly, I think they're both jungle, but that's just my thoughts. Uh, but yeah, that Braum being banned out pretty much instantly means that they want to pick Nautilus, which is why the Nautilus ban comes out, because Braum's just mm -hmm. a perfect counter to Nautilus. Uh, the Lulu... Wait, what the... They banned Lulu with Aphelios. Okay, so here it kind of makes sense, actually. Um, yeah, they don't want the Jinx to get... Yeah, uh, they don't want the Jinx to get the uh, the Lulu. But the thing is, both Jinx and Aphelios need Enchanter supports, right? Now, hear me out here. They buffed Sona. They doubled her healing. So, like, Sona with the Aphelios? Thoughts? <laughs> maybe, Come on. Maybe, we'll see. Come on, guys. Sona? Sona? Come on. Uh -huh. Let's see it. Let's see it. They're going to take some time to think about this because yeah. this is a big decision to make, especially right here with these support picks. You want to see what this Aphelios yeah. well, needs, right? What do you have left to pick even? You don't well, have the Nautilus, uh, First have is the either. strategy of the pick and ban. Why ban the Lulu oh. when you could have picked the Lulu? They had first pick here. Oh, you're right. So if they That's ban Melio, pick Lulu, you have Lulu Aphelios. I mean, so uh, uh, it, it, words are hard. So apparently, they prefer Melio over Lulu. Now, to be fair, the last time we saw Aphelios in the meta, Melio didn't exist. So maybe there's some secret tech that Melio is just absolutely busted uh, with Aphelios. To be fair, the healing output of Melio um, is insane in that late game. Plus, the extra cleanse is very helpful. Here, I told you that Volibear is not top. He is jungle. Yep. Ricky's Renekton is going to be locked in. A Perfect flex pick, just in case that that Jax is indeed in the jungle. And now all that is left is to pick out that support, unless it's Renekton support or Ari support. Please do not be any of those. <laughs> it's most likely going to be the support picking right now. And what is left that's good with Jinx? That's going to be a Rakan going for the engage support is an interesting pick here. Well, engage support. Rakan is a... <laughs> he's like the 200... The, 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 he's the Aphelios of support in my eyes. <laughs> he's an enchanter, or sorry, he's a Cassante of 
of mm -hmm. support, not not the Aphelios. Because his kit is very straightforward to understand. What makes no sense is the fact that he's both an enchanter and an engaged support. Yep. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna um, heal my team and I'm going to engage for them. So what's your downside exactly? Plus the dashes. <laughs> I mean, jeez, don't get me started with the dashes. Uh, but yeah, the Gragas here being picked out into that Renekton, honestly, Gragas is just a state like solid. Actually, we don't even know if it's a Gragas top or a Gragas jungle. I because believe... it could be both. Ooh, Gragas right. jungle has been getting uh, pushed a little bit more. I, I feel like it's going to be a Gragas top, though. That's you, the yeah. more typical position right now. Jack's jungle yeah. works a little bit better, too. More typical. So just based on these team comps, who would you have to give the edge to? Well, I mean, nobody has Sona, so I can't just instantly <laughs> say, uh, yeah, that team is going to lose. But uh, here... It's hard to say. It's going to be mostly centered around who covers bot more in terms of the jungle. Um, if it is a Gragas into a Renekton, I'd say Ricky's probably going to get really annoyed because playing against Gragas is boring as hell. Uh, because, you know, poke with Q and he just counter engaged all your engages with the belly slam. So he's just going to get bored out of his mind farming. Uh, since they both have sustain in lane. But if it's a Jax top, different story. Mm -hmm. uh, because then there's going to be a lot of dueling in that top lane. So Ricky might do like a, a, an ego dive on the Gragas if he gets too bored. But aside from that, I'd say it's pretty much a farm lane top. And then uh, in the bot lane, winner is probably going to be the Jinx or Khan here. Just because engaged support into Melio sucks. Um, or, well, it, it sucks for the Melio, sorry. Yep. <laughs> uh, he doesn't want to get caught out. And it is an airborne, not a stun or a root, so he can't cleanse that. This uh, Aphelios, by the way, is 100% going cleanse. Because, I mean, charm, stun. Chompers, root, yep. stun, airborne. <laughs> uh, well, the airborne, you can't cleanse it. But there is oh, another yeah. charm on that, too. So, meh. Uh, yeah, don't really want to mess with that. On the other side, Volibear jungle. Volibear is good for diving bot. It's, yeah, I would it's just fun. say Volibear is a better pick right here. Jax can be very good if he can get the jump on you, and if he gets going, he's great, but I think, think Volibear is just more consistent. Volibear is more consistent, but Jax has better peel for the EDC. Oh, that's, that's one true, of the things true. that I like to play around, is if Volibear is a very frontline bruiser, Jax, you can choose whether, like, if you're far behind as Jax, it's easy. You build Zhonya's, and then uh, all you do is you stick to your ADC like an enchanter, and whenever somebody gets on your ADC, you just go spin, and they go away from your ADC all of a sudden for no apparent reason. <laughs> so, yeah. No apparent reason. Uh, from that standpoint, like, Jax does have a really good neutral, but if Volibear gets ahead, it's unplayable for literally everybody. Because if he gets his ult up, you already know he's going to be diving bot on cooldown. Like, Aphelios won't be playing the game. No. Because he won't have a tier 2. <laughs> at 2 minutes. Yeah, that's going to be rough. So I would give the edge out over to the Saints, I would say, for this team comp overall. I would, yes. Saints would win this one. I realized I was completely missing the point of that yeah, okay. <laughs> going over like in the different lane matchups. Um, no, that Saints was good. Do have good. an advantage, but Wildcard is on the Talia. If she can get a really good, um... <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of the spell. The rocks, the slow. Yes, rocks. the rock mines. Yep. Um, <laughs> The, the landmines that are made of rock, I I, I don't know how the, the physics work mines. on that yeah, one, but fun. hey, we're going to assume it works. Well, uh, yeah, if she can bending, land, you know? yeah, <laughs> earth bending, sure. So yeah, if she can lay down one of those really good minefields, no problem, because Jax has a jump, Ari has a dash. Um, Volibear jumps. Technically, he's unstoppable, <laughs> so he takes damage, but he doesn't okay, okay. get stunned. Um, and then Jinx is like the only one without a dash, right? Yes. So... If she can catch the Jinx with uh, an Airborne into the landmines, it, it fight's over. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to depend. It's, very, uh, it's also hard to catch a Jinx if she got a kill. She's going to be zooming. Oh yeah, she's going to be zooming <laughs> and uh, zooming and shooting. Yep. <laughs> Going a little crazy. A little bit too much, maybe. <laughs> so what do you think is a weak point on either side of the team? Okay, so, so biggest weak point, I would say, when it comes to the Saints 
is their damage output. They have the Jinx, they have the um, Renekton, and they have the Ari, right? If Renekton goes for that more Bruisery build, mm -hmm. you have a lot of um, healing and a lot of tenacity and a lot of tankiness. But if you go for that like PTA build, if you're familiar with that one, uh, oh, usually the Parent Teachers Association. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I did not expect that whatsoever. <laughs> Parent teacher associate. But anyways, yeah, you're talking. the last time I heard that? It was in like elementary school. True, Holy true. We don't have them too much anymore as we're adults here <laughs> at the college. Oh but my god! Don't remind me. Jeez. <laughs> I have to file taxes. <laughs> but speaking uh, of taxes, what do you think is going to be the most taxing thing as you're covering that? Well, usually it's the junglers with smite and your cannon. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, uh, yeah. Biggest weakness is going to be that Aphelios Milio on the bot side. It's going to get dove a lot with that volley bear, and you're going to need to be covering that like 24/7. So if the jungler can't take his cop camps, uh, they basically just delegate all that those void creatures to um, the volley bear, right? Because it's instant. Okay, I need to cover bot every second, so he just gets those free objectives. Granted, you get drag, but when it comes to having a Renekton, good split pusher, an Ari, relatively okay split pusher, and a Jinx, towers don't exist with Jinx, um, <laughs> I don't think you want to give those grubbies away. Yeah, the grubs I've noticed have mattered so, so much, especially in these collegiate games. Whoever seems to get the most grubs ends up taking the game much quicker. If they get all six, we're usually in for like a sub 30 minute game, like a sub around the 20 minute yeah. mark it goes very very quick after that but tonight's not going to be very quick because it is a best of five tonight <laughs> it, we are going to be in for a marathon oh, of yeah. league games but it's going to be amazing i'm excited to see what comes out speaking of best of five what do you think yes. the score line is going to be oh okay hold on let me hmm <laughs> Ah, yes, using my divine will to somehow conjure a, a, a picture the, 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 in the my mind. The tarot card deck. Yeah, the tarot card deck. <laughs> That's what we were talking about last time. Uh, okay, honestly, I think since this is a best of five, Saints, we might see like a partial river sweep. All right. Like maybe like a, a one and three. I think Harrisburg's going to take the first game at least. Yeah, maybe. Although. All right. And what is this? What is, yeah, what is happening here? All of the Saints have went top lane. Meanwhile, it seems like down in the river, it's going to be Harrisburg lurking for defense against an invade. I don't know what this macro is, but it's not... The, uh, maybe they were trying to cheese the Gragas level 1, and the Gragas didn't show up to lane, so they just canceled it. Yeah, Gragas up there in... The, the top of jungle, making sure those skills came out early game, but now it looks like we're going to reset back to a neutral standard game as usual. Yep. So looking at these runes, uh, things to point out would be probably the Rasmus Gragas. This isn't a phase rush or a first strike. This is that tanky Gragas that goes Water of Ages uh, along with the... Um, Words are hard. Uh, Rod of Ages, and then he goes Rocket Belt, and then he goes. Um, what is the last one? Rocket Belt, and. Ah, uh, words are hard. Uh, Cosmic Drive. Cosmic Drive. There it is. Uh, that's his core build usually uh, with like Neandries and stuff like that. It's pretty interesting, very nice to play around, uh, but for whoever you're leaning against, it's annoying as hell because what happens is you grasp proc every time you belly slam. So, uh, yeah, it's not a fun time. It's a lot of percent max health damage you don't want to have to deal with. Here though, the Aphelios is absolutely dominating that uh, bot lane, just kind of holding the Jinx Rakan at bay, uh, getting that level two first actually, Maddie pathing towards the top side, so it seems to be prioritizing uh, getting those respawns towards the grub objective here. Ricky though, trading really, really well with, uh, is that Ego? Yeah, that is Ego, uh, in the top side just trying to keep as much of his health as possible uh, because what happens is he has an offensive healing, right, with Renekton, it's the Q, uh, versus Gragas who has a more passive-centered uh, healing with his, well, passive, 
where he doesn't actually need to do anything other than use spells, and with 30 mana cost on uh, his W, I believe, it's really, really cheap to regen his health. It's not that much, granted, but it is a pretty significant one once you give him time to heal. So you do need to take uh, some really good trades and heal a lot if you are playing back Ragnus. If you're in the mid lane though, uh, Duckman is uh, getting pretty low on mana, so we're going to have to reroll soon. That's summon Airy. An interesting choice is here. Matty goes wow. in for the gank. Belly slam instantly onto Ricky, oh, and the no. gank is instantly negated. That is that is Gragas in a nutshell. Yeah, Gragas has so much movement for such a big guy, but we love him for that. He's, he's very good get in. Well, he only has one one movement ability. But it, it, it's it's good. It's good, yeah, especially it's good. in the early game. And now we're seeing Baker Boy almost. Ca he checks oh, the bush, gets a charm. That's going to stop the back. That's huge. And now. Engage in the bot lane. No one has fallen yet. It's still very even. No way the, t the, s the scales are tipping just yet. Uh -oh. but I think we might see that right here as Manny moves in for the gank. Doesn't quite get it, but he gets the stun actually. And now with Bakery Boy missing the orb just slightly, he's still going to get out. Yep, Duckman lives to fight another day. Uh, not going to be turned into roasted duck just yet. Uh, that bear is not that hungry. But with that being said, here, Ricky. Oh, just walked on a ward. Uh, doesn't know it's there though, it isn't pinged. So it's gonna be interesting to see if possible, like possibility that Maddie shows up and uh, tries to go for another gank or not. But this, uh, this Jax here is seemingly going topside. I don't know if it's to defend from a gank or yeah, Ricky here gonna reset, just crash his wave. So you don't really need to worry too much about that if you are Renekton. Just gonna try and get, oh, wait, hold on. Why did he cancel his back? What's he doing? What's he cooking? Oh, he wants to get Ego to keep on, uh, to stay in the wave. He thinks he wins this fight. Do you think he wins this fight? Uh, I think he will. I believe. Okay. Win this one out. But hey, we're seeing the Grubs start to be taken first by Harrisburg University here. Like we were talking earlier, usually he who claims the Grubs first usually takes the lead. Now, it doesn't seem like the other jungler is going for Dragon just yet, but Harrisburg just going to take two, take the yep. lead on the Grubs, get out where Maddie now just going to play catch up and try and get the last remaining Dragon. Yeah, well, the trick is with the Grubs, right? If you take the first two and leave the third one, you guarantee that they can't get the buff uh, or the um, the mini Grubs for when they're sieging towers, right? Because you need uh, five or six to get those mini Grubs. So they get the, um, the damage over time, even if they get the other three, but they don't get that major buff that comes with having five or six. So it's kind of a, a strategy that's been employed lately uh, to kind of spare you your time. But of course, having six is the optimal amount, but here you basically said, I'm gonna have five or that's it. But ooh, hold on, going on in the bot lane here. Lots of trading. This is lots of trading here, but the wave's just going the way of Harrisburg as Sinclair has to wait under tower. And Harrisburg starting the dragon, the first dragon. That one's going to be a big one here. It's Fire Drake here. Now, Saints, are they going to answer here? Botling comes up to defend. Now, mid lane there also encroaching, trying to get the pinch off. But it looks like this is still going to be uncontested as all four of Harrisburg are here defending it. And now we see an engage here on the Ari. Gets one stun, goes in. But the Jax is just a little bit stronger right now, whacking away, getting the very, very low. One kill going to go their way. We get a trade finally, but it looks like it's going to go the Saints' way as they get two. Oh, looking to get three. Charm. And now they're looking to flip the dragon. Yup. Three to one, a double kill on that Jinx. Looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, first Blood did go to Jax though, so that is a Spellblade right in his pocket. Uh, but yeah, that Jinx getting two kills is uh, exactly what you want. You want that Jinx to get ahead, uh, get those items. You want, you know, that three item power spike on your Jinx and then, uh, then she can go crazy. Quite literally. She's already crazy, but <laughs> even crazier. Embrace the insanity there in the bot lane. Here we are, Maddie clearing his jungle away. Right now, the Saints got... That was a very good fight for them. They didn't end up getting the dragon out of it, but they still got quite a few kills here, put themselves into a leading position. Yeah, here the uh, main subject of thought is probably going to be the fact that, first of all, why is Teleport considered unleashed, or am I seeing things? 
I think you might need glasses as we've talked once before. Oh god. <laughs> but either way. Yeah, okay, no. No, yeah, I need glasses. Or maybe it's just the fact that it was on cooldown, so it looked a little whack. Anyways. Maybe. maybe. Uh yeah, so here they're gonna have to like reattempt the Drake. But it's kinda hard to do um with the current tempo of the game. But now that Jinx actually just pushed that wave in, they do have an opportunity. They're going to start clearing that vision. Uh, but of course, once you start clearing vision, everybody on the map knows what your intentions are. So you see kind of Jax hesitating to go to Dragon or not. Probably going to try and cover his mid lane here as uh, Volibear is trying to look for that gank. But... He's oh, go wait, he's it. going for it. He's going got six. Deep. No, he's not, but Ricky is invading this jungle right now, trying to lock down this Jax, and they're just going all in on the Jax. But Jax manages to leap out there and get out of the fight, Scott Furry. Yep, Dominus was dedicated to that fight, uh, along with Spirit Rush, I believe. But here, Miracle getting kind of caught out. Weaver's Wall going to come in, lock down Miracle from his escape, and Mike... Mikkel? Mikkel gonna get that kill. That's gonna be it. Good for Harrisburg. Let's gonna open them up for Dragon. And will the start come out? No, they're gonna have to clear the ward first. Probably wait a little bit to throw the Saints off. But now it's a lot of pressure on the Saints. They have to try and defend this Dragon as they think they might as well be starting it right now. I do believe they are starting it. Uh, I mean, they have a lot of healing with Melio, so you don't need to worry too much about Dragon damage. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the Saints have lost the temple right now. And Remember what I was talking about, that Ego Dive? Well, uh, we just kind of have it. Ego, uh... Ego just... <laughs> he, he's got the Gragas place. He's got the Gragas, and you need a little bit of Ego if you're up there in the top lane. Gets the lead to start. At least we're up there, but the Jinx up 2-0 right now. Looking to see what Rockmoon is going to do. But hey, speaking of Maddie. And the top lane, he's going to be starting Grubs here. And it looks to be uncontested as there's no vision from Harrisburg. I'm going to know that's happening. Yep. Well, I mean, to be fair, Jax already got two. So he knows he doesn't have to worry about the massive buff that comes from the uh, the Void Grubs. So all he has to worry about is, oh, no, they're going to have a little bit of extra shoe damage on yes. our towers. Uh, so it was kind of like along the plan. He decided, essentially, I'm going to take the first two. going to leave. going to let him have the other four. Uh, I don't need to worry about that buff. We get Dragon, we're happy. Uh, but, ooh, hold on here. Beautiful charm. Bakery boy. He's been practicing those. Yeah, as <laughs> you can snipe those out of thin air, it seems, sometimes. But with the 3v1 happening, I don't think Bakery boy should engage just yet. No, but here we did see uh, Kidbert's on wards. So, of course, Ricky going to decide to do some proxying, get some damage on that tower passively with the minions. Unless, of course, Gregus wants to tank it, but not advisable. Uh, Wave on the bot side is pushing right into Aphelios here. So they're going to have to uh, play this one safe, but of course, this is a volley bear. You don't play safe under tower. <laughs> so there might be a dive coming out here. Yeah, we can see that Jack's going to try and cover his bot lane just he, because Volibear just shows up and you need to cover. Oh, we have a fight here with the Renekton and the Gragas here. And we also have a fight in the mid lane with the Mages. And now Ari going to get very, very low, but not going to get the kill. Oh, actually dashes in, gets the kill. And that is Bakery Boy getting another kill here in the mid lane. Yup, that last dash coming in clutch. The, uh, the minefields were already used, so... Had the ability to just dive that tower. In the top lane, though, um, yeah, it's another one of those. We both heal, so we're both going to sit here and farm. Unless Gregus decides to pull out the cake. Because Gregus is the only one with kill pressure here when he uses his tower, right? If you use the keg plus the tower, you just have insane amounts of damage uh, or potential damage. Plus, Gregus kind of at that point. Wait, what is that build? What, for Gregus? Sunfire? <laughs> No, that, that that won't be a Sunfire, surely. Well, I mean, what else would it be? It it's Balmy Cinder. <laughs> Bro, that is whack. That is a little... Sunfire keep on Gragas. I mean, clearly I'm not uh, up to date on the Gragas tech, but speaking of the Gragas tech, the keg is going to come out. Ricky getting stunned up, pops the Dominus, tries to get some healing off, but here he just can't get enough down 
to burst down Ego. And uh, yeah, his Ego is going to take a little bit of a blow on that one. As here in the mid lane, the Volley Bear Ultimate connects, shuts down the tower, and shuts down the Talia. Instant kill. This Talia is now 0 3, not having a good time. Yikes. Yeah, that is a little bit of a yikes here. Now, seeing Rock Boom start to engage here. Doesn't quite find too much. Bakery Boy just peppering them from afar. Saint's still in the lead, but steadily losing it as Harrisburg is starting to catch up. Uh, I would say they have a little bit better opportunities, but the Saints are just dominating in terms of kills, but tower-wise, the Saints still have a little bit of catch-up to do. Yeah, the Saints are playing catch-up when it comes to that tower domination. Um, but here, as the next objective is coming up, we have a uh, an Ocean Dragon just getting ready to go. And Volibear here going to probably take his red buff and then get ready for the dragon. Uh, try and contest, clear some vision. As we can see here, Miracle already trying to clear that control ward. Getting caught out, but not bursted hard enough to have to worry. Uh, as, ooh, Rift Herald is actually going to be started here by Kid Birds. Um, so, Ricky going to go down and, oh, this is going to be a team fight here. Got a big team fight brewing right here, right now. And now Jax goes in and engages. There's the Tilia ult. And now the knockup comes up. And now they're all falling down. Ego finds one on Maddie. It looked like the Saints were about to win it there, but they all got their health back here. And now the Saints are going to have to back off. Yep. A really clean wall there. Absolutely stopping the Saints from engaging onto that ADC, giving them the time to just DPS, uh, get that damage laid down onto the front line and forcing the saints to retreat only one goes down but that also does give the herald uh to the red team of uh harrisburg so they get the advantage they win that objective here if i was the saints i would have said forget the herald it's not that important go for the dragon because if you go for the dragon you promise that they can't have a an instant for dragons and soul right you delay that soul and it gives you a lot of time to stall. Plus, Ocean Dragon is just nice to have, you know? It's a lot of healing. Yeah, now the Saints looking to jump into this blue bottom jungle right here. Not going to quite do it, though, but they are just camping this mid lane. They want to go for another team fight. They want to try and get back in a lead here. Yeah, well, Volley Bear Ultimate is up. And you remember what I was saying about perma diving that bot lane. Uh, apparently, that's not going to be on the schedule today because uh, Dragon meets on the menu, boys. <laughs> And they're going to burst that dragon down in no time at all. Get that stake I mean, medium rare at least. And now the heads, hex gates are activated. It's going to be hex tech soul, which is pretty decent for both sides. And now Ricky going in, trying to take him down, but it's not going to quite work. Just going to have to play very carefully under tower. Yeah, Ricky is not having a good time, uh -oh. and he's about to have a worse one here. The dive is absolutely ready to go. Drax spin to win, but doesn't connect, doesn't get that stun, but that tower will go down. Uh, so in the mid lane, or sorry, in the bot lane here, uh, Bakery Boy does trade turrets, which is a very good macro call here. Uh, but oh, that wow, rift here, oh my god, they're lane. shoving top lane. Going in for the charge. It's going to do a lot of damage, and now the Saint, the <laughs> Harrisburg is just going to burst down this tower, and the Saints are going to have to run away in fear, as there's at least one more charge left in that, but no, it's going to go down the junglers there to make sure that thing doesn't go too far. Yeah, Rift Herald's, uh, Rift Herald deals damage, watch out for that. But here, uh, Blue Buff going to be taken by Harrisburg. Uh, just gonna try and deny, uh, yeah, Maddie as much CS as possible, right? You deny him gold. Uh, so, one of the things that's kind of important to keep in mind, ooh. Ooh, the quickness being popped out of the Rakan here, getting a two-man airborne. Melio gonna fall down immediately to Baker Boy. Uh, ooh, wait, never mind, Baker Boy gets a double kill, takes out the Aphelios. Only the Jax and the Gragas left, along with the Talia. Miracle brought down very low. Talia gonna pick him up. Trades the kill. It's a two for one. Are we taking that deal? Are we taking a turret for it? I think they're taking a turret they for it. We're gonna take a turret for it. And now the Saints gonna continue to shove this mid lane just a little bit further. It's gonna turn around, turn tail, and run as they see the Gragas is here. You don't want to mess with him. Just such a hard tank to deal with at this point in the game. I mean, he's got Sunfire. 
I still don't know who built Sunfire on Gregus, but anyways, uh, <laughs> he's got that tier of the goddess, which is probably going to turn into a Fimble Winter, uh, seeing that Kindle gem there. So this is not a damage Gregus at all. This is straight up tank Gregus, which... Put him in there, let him absorb the damage, take some hits for the team. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, because your keg isn't going to do any damage. I prefer hybrid, personally. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you there, but nonetheless, we're seeing Ricky here, all the way in the bot lane, just trying to clear, trying to get his foot in the door. He is down to one at death right now. As we turn back to Harrisburg, they are looking to take one for one, trying to get this mid turret right back. Polybear Stun's gonna go out, doesn't quite land, and now he's just gonna keep on schmoving that Gragas is unstoppable. Yeah, the Gragas is very tanky, but uh, the Ari is definitely gonna deal a lot of damage. Because that is something to note. All of the Saints' damage is uh, AD aside from Ari. So having Bakery Boy ahead is crucial. If he wasn't ahead, you would only have one damage type. So uh, gotta keep that in mind at all times. The Horizon Focus already picked up. So you've got a very strong Ari, an IE almost completed, just needs um, one cloak and one, uh, one another purchase after that for that IE. Two item Jinx, pretty strong, not that strong though. Uh, the Aphelios does get the Kraken Slayer too, but a little bit further behind uh, his counterpart. So he's gonna need to play a little bit of catch up. The uh, Jax only has Triforce. Which is I, but it's not that good. Ricky, ooh, he's getting kited hard. He's not having a good time. No, no, he's not. He's having a little bit of a rough time here this game. But hey, there's always next game. He's just gonna shove the lanes, be where his team is not, and try and keep things even. Now we're gonna look to Maddie here, going in the mid lane with Bakery Boy. We're looking to get these three mid. I think they win the 2v3, I don't know, they're just gonna run out of it, they don't even want to mess with that right now. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't want that smoke just yet, it is pretty dangerous, although surprisingly, this is a uh, past 20 minute game, so this is not what the Saints are used to, right? They don't usually play scaling, they usually play early game, so it's nice to see the Saints playing to something that isn't just early game. Here, Rakan pops the quickness, misses the airborne, but does end up getting the charm on two with Gregus and Jax moving towards the Saints, but nothing is going to come from that engage, so I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, nothing quite happened there, but hey, it's not the worst thing in the world. No one died on either side, so just going to be off cooldown for the next fight, but next dragon is up. It's going to be Hextech. Oh, I don't start like that Hextech one soul. right away. Yeah, Hextech soul here, definitely something that you want for the Saints, uh, because I mean, both those ADCs absolutely love attack speed. Right, it's Felios and Jinx. So you do not want to mess with uh, whoever is going to have the Hex Axel this time. But yeah, Dragon does end up going, wait, hold on. Super Mega Death Rocket got launched, but where? Uh, I think up towards the jungle, it didn't, I don't think it hit its for mark Vision, though. maybe? Could have been for Vision. Could have been just to try and scope things out. Uh, nonetheless, a little bit of a question mark moment, but <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure oh. there's a purpose. We're just not big brain enough to I see mean, it okay. yet. There are question mark moments, and there's real question mark moment. Like, did you see, uh, what was it? The trailer, the, the new trailer for Leak that came out, the, 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 uh, for, like, the new season with Trindomir and Kindred? Oh, yes. You saw that one? Okay, at the end, Ash ease the sky. <laughs> like, that is a question mark moment. A little bit of a question mark. Oh. Anyways, uh, <laughs> my tangent on stuff that is partially leak, uh, but yeah, here the Saints are, they're in a wacky position. They have the gold advantage, but they need to try and force something, right? They need to, to force a fight, preferably a Baron, but just to like make a threat and then get even more gold snowball that harder, or they can try and gamble for a tower. A tower is another option. Uh, but one way or the other... Oh, oh, there's a big charm there, but it's not going to quite turn into a kill, but that's half the health off of Jax. So that's going to be pretty nice going forward in the next fight. Yep, I think that could translate into a Baron, since Jax is going to have to recall, but it's all about if they know or if they don't know that the Jax has recalled. I think they oh. know. Do they know? I mean... Uh, They're clearing vision. 
Yeah. A few I, of them are backing, though. Or maybe they're faking the back? I don't know. The, eh? Rakan? They're not all there, so I think they're not going to quite start it. They're just going to keep the pressure on Harrisburg, make them have to wait around in that jungle, kill some time as they send Jinx and Bakery Boy top and mid. Try and shove these lanes. Yeah, well, the Renekton does have that TP available, so Ricky doesn't need to worry too much about that team fight. When it does start, he can take care of it pretty easily. What my main concern is would be uh, a pick, because whoever gets the pick first will instantly win this. Uh, pretty much no questions asked, because there is a lot of damage to go around in this fight. So, ooh, maybe they will try. They might try to force it because here they're, they're, they are clearing vision hard. They're really playing around that Baron. And they're basically, they're forcing uh, here's Oh yeah, they're starting it. There you go. Look at that. There's the start. And now there's the response from Harrisburg as they start to move in right here. You see the blue ward though. The Saints know it's coming. They're going to get into position and try and win this fight. <laughs> there it is. Don't get a charm. Bakery Boy still just lurking on this edge here. Going to play very, very carefully and try not to push up too far. Now they do stop the Baron take and now Harrisburg might be the ones to take this. Yeah, well the thing is Harrisburg here just kind of threw their tower under the bridge or under the bus. Oh, they kind of had to. They can let Saints get Baron. Yeah. Great plays. There's a super mega death rocket. Just barely misses from the dash. Whoa. And Barlow just gonna barely get out with a little Miracle? bit of health. And now Miracle gonna go in, get the knock up on Barlow and Maddie gonna take a Barlow out. Now you see it three on three. On oh three. the stun! Four on three. There it is. Five on three as the whole teams are happening. It's a big team fight. Ricky gets one, and now this Greg is just tanking it up here in the front lines as Ricky moves in to try and take out the squishies in the back. They get the Gragas, and now there's just two left oh on the side God, of Harrisburg. The got one. Is this going to be an ace? A double kill from Rockboom? It's not going to be an ace as Jax is still going to be up with just a little bit of health. Yeah, I mean, you saw the amount of Shockrams that were going around on that uh, green and white. I mean, great weapons for Aphelios to team fight with, but he just didn't manage to get that DPS down. And it's just... That's kind of what happens when you don't have enough peel or when you can't find those opportunities because ADCs are really weak in the current meta, right? They don't deal that much damage. And now, one of the reasons why Riot does that is because uh, in pro play or in higher levels of competition, ADCs are low-key busted. Yes. <laughs> but depending on which level you're playing, um, sometimes that just doesn't happen. And this is a perfect case for one of those. It's that... Like, they, they, they're looking for burst windows, but there's no burst windows to, you know, actually start dealing DPS as uh, an ADC. You don't have those areas, and that's why uh, burst ADCs are kind of what's in the meta. That's why they go lethality nowadays, mostly at least. Yeah, that is a great analysis of ADCs in a nutshell by Gabriel. But hey, there's going to be a team fight here. Let's see if your information is correct. Let's see what this ADCs can do right here. We see Ego up there in the front lines trying to tank the damage, but he's going to get very, very low. The Saints all around the same health pool. None of them going to go down, though. Another stun comes out. There's the landmines. Rock, going to find one, and now he's going to keep on moving. The dominoes are falling here as they're all getting very, very low. They're all one shot. There it is. Three ball in synchronicity. Rock, boom, and Bakery Boy killing four all the way down there. Now it's just Barlow left, and for your information, we just got word that Barlow used to be a saint. So... This might be a little bit of Saint on Saint violence or former Saint as they are just cruising on through, taking a tower and taking an inhib and this is looking to be game right here. Yeah, that is looking like game for the Saints. I mean, that quasi ace is great. Melio just out here dancing. Uh, he can't really do much one way or the other. I mean, look at him. He's Melio. It's not like he's building AP or crit. Uh, so yeah, Nexus will fall here. Just great macro from the Saints being able to find those team fights and force uh, Harrisburg to get into that team fight, right? I think one of the, like, the biggest parts of this play was the Baron force. They said, okay, well, we're going to start Baron. If you guys don't contest, we get Baron. Great trade deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you guys do contest, we leave and take your tower. 
Oh, yeah. Which one do you want to lose, Baron or Tower? Yeah, those were some amazing plays from the Saints. They've kind of forced Harrisburg's hand a few times there. Like, hey, we'll give you a choice, but it's a win-win for me every time. I mean, there were very few situations where the Saints were lose. There were a few gambles, but it seemed to pay off every single time. But hey, that is game one of potentially five, but this is looking to go the Saints way so far. I'm expecting maybe a 3-0 at this point, but I'm Okay, let's not Harrisburg. push it that far. You don't but, think so? Okay, look, here's the thing, though, right? When it comes to leak, you see one performance like, yeah, that was dominant. They absolutely stomped that. I mean, they're clearly going to win. But the thing is, half the game is the draft. That's true. Right? That's true. So, uh, to a certain extent... You could say, yeah, okay, they absolutely dominated, but, like, if they had counterpicks on every lane, you know, no wonder they dominated. So, from that standpoint, you kind of have a scenario where you have a really dominant performance that could go another way later on. And that's kind of what we might see in this next game, because I expect a little bit more uh, from Harrison. Yes, Harrison. Here, just, like, with the draft, with those picks, maybe going a little bit more for that early game, knowing that the Saints don't really have that weakness in the late game macro either, that could be an option. Yeah, I'm interested to see what we'll see from both of those. But we're going to take a quick break before we get into game two and maybe even TFT if it goes long enough. So we'll yep. see you very soon after a break. <laughs> 